Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about Advent of Code. Uh, I've actually done a video on this in the past, so I will link that in the description. But I wanted to give a quick intro on what I'm going to be doing for 2021, as well as my template, and kind of get started. Uh, and I'll also have a brief description of what Advent of Code is. And so let's just do that. OK, so Advent of Code is a programming challenge that comes out once a year. And for the last couple of years, I've been streaming it on twitch.tv slash anthonywritescode. And then I upload my my uh, stream VODs on my second channel. So uh, if you click Channels under my channel, you can get to there. Um, but yeah, I will, I will be streaming them again this year. And the way it works is there will be a puzzle once a day. So for this is for 2021, which comes out in a couple of hours. And in 2020, you can see that, you know, I completed all of the puzzles. There's basically two puzzles per day, and they increase in difficulty over time. Uh, the first couple should be approachable for basically anyone, even if you don't have any programming experience. And you can do them in whatever programming language you want. Uh, basically, it gives you a puzzle. You get a unique input per person, and you generate an, usually an integer output that you input into the website. And then... Um, yeah, that's that's how it gauges whether you get it correct or not. Um, but yeah, for 2021, I'm probably going to be doing it in Python as I usually do. Uh, and I have a small repo that's set up here. And uh, basically the structure for this is I'm going to make uh, a new folder for each day. It's going to have a part one and a part two file and an input.txt. This is going to contain the, um, you know, the my my particular problem input. I also have some support code that I have set up here and some dependencies. I've also hooked it up with Activator, so you'll see here by CD in and out of this repository, uh, it automatically activates this virtual en environment for me. And uh, the other thing that I have is I have a little script, which uh, download input, yes. I have a little script which allows me to download the input. Uh, oh, right. I have to be inside of a day folder because my paths are hard code. It's a little bit hacky, um, but here's an example of downloading the 2020 day one input, and you can see it prints a little bit of the output here. And the way that works is I have put my cookies from the website into a little .m file, and here's a sample file that kind of looks the same. Uh, you'll basically just copy your session cookie, and then you'll be able to reuse that to download this using a little script. Um, but yeah, that's my 2021 templates and what I'm going to be using. I will also be posting my solutions uh, the next day on GitHub, and that'll be at github.com slash uh, slash AOC 2021. And if you want to look at previous years, you can, of course, look at 2020 or, or other ones that I've done. I've done all the way back to 2018. Uh, I may at some point go back and redo the previous years, but I have not. <laughs> I have not had free time enough to do that. Uh, but anyway, that's Advent of Code, and hopefully I'll see you in a few hours on Twitch.